Hey there, Mr. Leatherwood. Hola, Ms. Mitchell. And today we're going to talk about comparing decimals. We're going to use this crazy method we call line up and cover. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy. It's ludicrous, yeah. you might say. So let's get some decimals to work with. I have 35 hundredths. Let's do 53 hundredths. 305,000. Very good. And tricky one. 532,000. All right. So here's where we get the line up part of the line up and cover method. I see that I'm going to compare four decimals. So in doing so, I'm going to line up four decimals. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to write in my digits or my numbers. Bear with me while I do that. Silence bothers me. Okay, so Mrs. Mitchell, here's where the tricky part comes. Do you see anything awry? Awry. Awry. That's a word. I, I do. I see something strange. Okay, strange. I notice that two of them only extend to the hundredths place, and two of them extend to the thousandths place, okay. and that bothers me. One, okay, that bothers you. How are we going to fix it, though? Well, I want to make them all the same length so that I can compare them nicely. Mm -hmm. um, so my solution would be that if you have 53 hundredths, you have zero thousandths. Because if you did have some thousands, they'd be there, right? Uh-huh. But if I don't, I can just stick a zero there to show that I don't have any for both of those, yes. Oh. It's kind of like a placeholder. Okay. It makes it the same length. Uh-huh. It doesn't change the value. That's important. But it makes it easier to compare. All right. I can see that. Uh-huh. Very cool. Uh-huh. All right. So then we get our cover portion of the lineup and cover. Let's see. I'm going to draw... Create a little box, a rectangle, if you will. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cover everything up to my decimal points. Then I'm going to go over one place. So what place am I looking at now? The tenths. The tenths place. Okay. And I can compare. I can look at the tenths place and compare. I see three tenths, five tenths, three tenths, and five tenths. So already we know that two of these are smaller than two of the others, right? Right. Okay. Which ones are smaller? just in case they don't see that. Less than would be the two three-tenths. Greater than would be the two five-tenths. Okay. Can I clearly see which one's the smallest? Not yet. Not yet. So but I do know it's narrowed down to the threes. That's true. It is the threes. So <laughs> let's move it over, and then we'll compare maybe just the threes. Okay. So I see now I'm in the hundredths place. Right. right. So I see 35 hundredths, and I see 30 hundredths. Mm-hmm. So which one would be smaller there? Well, 30 is less than 35, so that would be the smallest smaller one. one. Yeah. Okay, so 30 hundredths is the smallest. Let's see if I can do this. So 30 hundredths would be our smallest. What would be our second smallest? But it's actually not 30 hundredths. Oh, why not? Because that's not one of the numbers you gave me. Oh, well, what did I give you? You gave me 305 thousandths. Ooh. Very good. So I need to write 305 thousandths. Mm -hmm. Then what's my next? Then, since the other two are fives and the other one's a three, I can put 35 hundredths. Very good. All right. Groovy. So now we can start to look at the, the fives, right? Right. Okay. So initially we had five tenths. Mm -hmm. I move them over. Uh-oh. Oh, they're the same They're still. both 53 hundredths. What do we do now? Move it again. Move it again, she says. Move that bus. There you go. So we have 530 thousandths, and we have 532 thousandths. So which one's greater here? Mm -hmm. Greater? Or Well, I guess we're going least to greatest. We should probably do the least one first. Right. Okay. So the next one would be 530 thousandths. Okay. By a smidgen. By, by two thousandths. And since my original number was 53 hundredths, I could write that. Mm -hmm. And then 532 
thousandths. Woo! Woohoo! What if the whole numbers weren't zeros? Would that change our answer? It could, yeah. Yeah. You want to do one like that? Some Throw some whole numbers in there? Sure. Okay. Let's do Processing. Processing. <laughs> okay, so let's try a couple of whole numbers. So let's do 1 and 24 hundredths. 1 and 305 thousandths. 0 and 25 hundredths. Let's just do that. Three, okay? Mm, let's do... Are you going to do one more? Yeah, no, that's good. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, we lined up the decimals. Mm -hmm. Let's come up with a... Let's draw a box. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. That should be big enough. Mm -hmm. Cover it up. Wait a minute. You forgot a step. Oh, what did I forget? <gasps> you forgot the placeholders. Oh, silly Mr. Leatherwood. They have to be the same length. That's right. And are they the same length? Nope. Nope, they Since are not. Since they don't have thousandths, the first one and the last uh -huh. one, we can add a placeholder, zero. There we go. There we go. Now we can do some business. That's right. Okay. Let's get oh, look, you did That's kind of funny. I'm going to leave that because that just that. looks cool. <laughs> Hello. Looks like eyeballs. Okay, so I've covered up into the decimal point, so we can compare what first? Whole numbers. Whole numbers. That's exactly right. So I see that this bottom one down here is already the smallest number. Mm -hmm. So if I look at, oh, hey. <laughs> oh, now it's going to be tricky. Here, we'll do this. Oh, if I look at the whole number, we know that 25 hundredths is going to be the least. Is going to be our least one. So let's do 25 hundredths. Okay. Then, oh, now it's working for me. <laughs> then I can compare my whole numbers and move it over into the tenths place. Mm -hmm. And automatically I know that one and move, oh. 305 thousandths uh -huh. was greater than, oh, but we're doing least to greatest. Yeah. So one and 24 hundredths and then one and 305 thousandths. Very good. Whoop, whoop. 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 Yay. Yep. All right. Should we give them one? Sure. Okay. All right. So let's do... Oh, you know but what I wanted to talk about? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Okay. Go ahead. I'm ready. I'll <laughs> erase this. Okay. Rick it, Rick it. Erase. Okay. What are we talking about? Um. Let's talk about the number two tenths. Okay. Two tenths like this? Um, no, no decimal form. Okay. Same thing though, right? Yes. Okay. True. Okay, so we've got two tenths. Uh -huh. And a minute ago we were just adding zeros to the end. Yeah. So I can add a zero because I'm not adding any value, right? Uh huh. But then that changes the name of that decimal. Very true. But does it change the value? No, it no. doesn't. Because, it so this is 20 hundredths now. Right. Right? So if I wanted to, it would be that, right? Well, yes. 20 hundredths? Okay. So, no, this is 20 hundredths, and adding a zero didn't change anything, so 20 hundredths and 2 tenths would be the same thing? They're equivalent. All right. Yeah. What if I did this? Is that going to change the value? Nope, but it does change the name. Yeah, what's the name of that one? 200 thousandths. That's right. In fractions. 200 thousandths. Could I do this? Forever. And it'd be the same thing? It would have a different name. It would have a different but name. But its value would Was always be the same. Very good. But we only have to worry about going this far this year, right? Yeah. Okay. We don't need to get crazy. Gotcha. So, what if I did... Huh. Let me think. Let's try another one. What if we did... Um, this one. So that's three-tenths, right? Right. And what would that be? 30 hundredths. What about that? 300 thousandths. All right. All so equivalent, though. All equivalent. Just changes the name. Yep. Okay. Cool beans. Now can we give them one to do? Okay. Okay. So for tomorrow, we want you to compare a couple. Let's compare 1 and 24 hundredths. Mm -hmm. 1 and 42 hundredths. How about 0 
and four hundred and two thousandths. Yeah. And zero and forty two hundredths. I like it. That sound good? Least to greatest or greatest to least? Oh, good question. Let's trick them up a little. How about greatest to least? That work? Yeah. Okay. Good luck. We'll see you tomorrow.